Go. Hello, class. <laughs> you got to speak up. Can you guys hear us? Just I, give us a quick. If it ain't early, you're late. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm sure they heard it. I'm Can you sure. hear us? All right. There it is. Okay in the floor laughing your butt off because you can hear us okay thank you katie yeah. appreciate that yeah. is to share with you everything that you shouldn't do and the right way to do it instead. Exactly. And so <laughs> believe it or not, after three years of full-time RVing, um, we have a unique perspective and we actually, we actually know what we're doing now. We're getting pretty good at this. Um, one of the, one of the biggest blessings we've got because of the YouTube channel and the RV odd squad is we've got thousands of members all over the country from every facet of what you can imagine. It's class A's, class B's, class C's, class, fifth wheels. We get a pulse of what everybody goes through. We, we, we have members that are full timers, that are part timers, um, that do that, that, you know, who are weekenders. And so we've got a unique perspective at the whole RV industry, a lot of insight that a lot of people don't have and our our goal this year is to help as many people as we can um, not make the mistakes we made when we jumped in. People are really excited about getting in the RV lifestyle, whether it's part time, full time, um, but they don't know a lot. And there's so, so much to learn. So we're hoping to share our experience through the next six months, believe it or not, um, it, with these classes, the last Saturday of every month and share our experience with you, give you guys some downloads, give you guys some free content, and hope that ultimately we hope you join the RV Odd Squad, which is a, a, a group of thousands of people nationwide that and we're building such an amazing community. And we're hoping that we attract more members to come in because there's power in numbers. And the more of us come in, the more our prices will go lower and we'll be able to help each other along the way. Amen. All right. So can we get started? Let's get with started. A, a couple of housekeeping announcements. Please put your questions in all caps. Special thank you to Janie. She is helping us behind the scenes. She's going to copy and paste your questions onto a document here so that we can get through them. Um, we are going to save the questions for the end. So please be patient with us as we go through. The first section, we're going to talk about what you can expect from our RV newbie classes. And then we are going to go into eight brutal realities of RV life, things that people don't hear enough about, and, and we just want to make sure that you are forewarned before you enter into the lifestyle. So um, first and foremost, please, please don't forget the download. If you need a link to the download, um, check for that. It's in the description. And Janie, if you could do me a favor and put the link to the download. If you are signed up for our newsletter, you got the download email to you already. Um, but this is, we're really going to class here, people. I mean, this is like, you know, uh, uh, grades and, and attendance and, <laughs> and um, <laughs> no, not quite. But we really want to take this seriously because RVing is very serious. It is. And the RV industry is exploding with thousands, hundreds of thousands of newcomers coming into the space. And our job is to share our experience to save you the headaches and the money that that you know, we lost learning how to RV. Mm -hmm. And so we're just gonna quickly go over the class, uh, the class outline over the next six months. And, yep. and this is covering everything that we've learned along the way, not only from our own experience, but from thousands of other R, uh, RV Odd Squad members and people who part-time, full-time, whatever. Mm -hmm. We're gonna- do the half and half? So hold on, a let's bit. We'll get us a little bit bigger. Yeah. How's this? That's is that better? better? Okay, yeah, because I'm out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, you no, get it, and I'll in, get in. Come on in. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is a brief outline. There's so much to cover, but um, we just want to make sure that you guys know what you can expect from us. So we're going to start um, this week with the realities of life on the road. The yes. W's of RVing. This Who, what, when, where. Um, how <laughs> um, today's class at the end, we're going to talk about the myths and the realities of RV life because RV life is amazing. We love our lives, but it's not exactly what we thought it was going to be. It, it is truly the adventure of our lifetime. 
but it's it's a lot it's it, it it's not all rainbows and butterflies and mercedes and i bring a unique perspective that shares the reality of it right the good the bad the ugly mm -hmm. um, we're also going to talk about uh, mistakes and expectations in our next class, we're going to talk about how to build your RV life on a firm foundation. You go through those. Yeah, I was going to say, we're supposed to take turns. <laughs> All right. And this is really important because we're going to talk about the different types of RVers. Um, we're going to talk about the budgeting for your RV life and the cost, the things you may not have considered. We're also going to talk about how to downsize and really what should be in the RV, what shouldn't. A huge one is needs versus wants. And this is hard because it depends on what kind of RVer you are. So this is why it's really important that we get really honest with ourselves when we're going through this process. And also we're going to talk about the mistakes a lot of people make that, um, you know, when they're setting up their RV life that, you know, they're not set up for success because they didn't take care of some really important things. You missed one. Unrealistic expectations, guys. That's the only one that you missed in this one. So finding I'll be the sure to point out everything. <laughs> Turn out my mistakes. Missed. All right. <laughs> the next week will be finding the perfect RV. Guys, the perfect RV doesn't exist. Yeah. So it's we a are unicorn. we it's a unicorn, but we are hoping to educate you and help you you know, to send you in the right direction so that you can do the research for yourself and find the right RV for your family. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, RV budgeting, right? And buying an RV. Um, uh, that This is where we really got taken. We got taken for an extra $30,000 financed over 20 years um, from a company that we can't stand and we hate. Um, and so we're going to share all our experience with you and hopefully get you pointed in the right direction so that you don't make a mistake when you're buying an RV. We're going to talk about needs versus wants, right? Everybody thinks they know what they want, but what do you really need to get started in the type of RVing that you're going to be doing? Uh, renting an RV. We're going to talk about renting an RV, the proper way to do that, the proper way to save money, the proper way to do it safely, and the proper way to be covered in case there's something goes wrong. Um, and then ultimately buying mistakes. We were professional mistake makers when we came into the space in our first year. The biggest gift we got was the RV Odd Squad. They taught us how to RV. We'd post honest videos about what was going on with our RV adventure, and the RV Odd Squad would tell us what we were doing wrong and how to fix that. Also, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're going to talk about the ups and downs of life on the road. Um, there are a lot of emotional considerations that you don't even know that you need to consider. <laughs> We're going to talk about what it's really like with the family, with the kids, um, you know, the pets. This is especially important if you're full time because um, your experience with family is going to be very, very different. Exactly. We're going to teach you how to plug in, how to we'll stay, stay connected. Yeah. How to, well, how to plug in and how to stay plugged in on the road. A lot of people nowadays um, and the new economy can work from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world, right? And so we're going to show you how to set up your internet. We're going to show you how to set up your systems, uh, uh, being being in remote locations and how to deal with that. We're going to talk about friendships on the road, um, how to make friends, how to become part of a, a, a community because RVing can be somewhat lonely, you guys. Um, again, internet and also TV, if you know, if, if um, how to do that as well. And um, we're also going to talk about, no offense, but how to actually stay alive long enough to enjoy the RVing adventure, um, the medical aspects of it. What happens if you get sick? How, to, uh, how do you do uh, medical insurance when you're traveling through a bunch of different states? Personal safety and security. And um, we made some, we did some good things, but we also made some mistakes as far as the safety and security. So we're going to discuss that as well. Mm -hmm. Can you really afford to RV. Yeah, that's the you know, next section. Yeah, how do I afford life afford life on the road? Um RVing in retirement. Most of 75% of our audience are retired. We've really come to know that community. Um earning money while you're on the road. Um this is a big one, guys. A lot of people jump in too fast. They sell all their stuff, they jump in an RV and they're selling everything back and getting, you know, looking for a rental 3-4 months later. So we're going to show you how to really honestly take a look at that and set yourself up for success. Um, entrepreneurship versus employment in an are RV. You in the new, are you in the next section? No, I'm right here. How do you afford? Oh, okay. I'm right here. Yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. Um, internet for work, which we're going to cover that quite a few times in a lot of these videos and expensive mistakes that we made. Yeah. No, the entrepreneurship versus employment is a big one yep. because, uh, your, your expectations are very different if you're trying to grow a business or start one. 
Um, the next is how not to be an RV life criminal, something that uh, we have, <laughs> apparently we have experience with it. But no, there's a lot of legalities to RVing that you may not consider mail, voting, domicile. The banking is a big issue. Taxes. Uh, there's laws that impact our veers that you may not have considered. Um, it, it also, having an exit strategy. Um, I wrote exist strategy. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> That's okay. Exit strategy, because you do want to have one. And um, some really important domicile mistakes that you don't want to make, because if you make these mistakes, you're going to be in trouble a year from mm -hmm. a year later. And then this week's going to be a really fun week, which is the planning the adventure of a lifetime, guys. We're going to show you how to decide where to go, planning an RV friendly route, right? Watching your weather, where to stay, crossing borders um, if you have pets. Um, airline travel when living in an RV. It's weird when you live in an RV for a while and then you jump on an airplane and leave your home on the road. It's it's an interesting adventure. Yep. And uh, we're also going to talk about the driving safety. I'm going to teach you guys how to drive an RV <laughs> safely. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll teach you how not to drive the RV. But no, towing the RV is a big deal. What what do you need to look out for? Driving an RV is nothing like driving a, vehicle, a regular car, or van, truck. So you just have to be so, so um, careful with that. And it's, it's probably one of the scariest parts of yep. RVing. And it doesn't have to be. Um, as scary if you take certain precautions. We're also going to talk a lot about safety gear, what you need, so you can have that peace of mind while you're driving that you and your family are safe and sound. Yep. And so this is the whole, this is the whole next six months, guys. Yeah. RVing is incredible. We love our lives, but there's a lot of research that needs to be done to do it correctly, setting yourself up for success. And we're hoping to take those newbies that are coming into the space and walking them through hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, um, giving you the support you need. And in the background, we're building all kinds of systems to give people the support. This week, we have a, had a private Zoom for members last night. We had a private Zoom for members Wednesday night. Um, we do a lot of work behind the scenes that you guys don't see every week working with our community. That community is growing to thousands and we're saving people a ton of money on products. As you, some of you may have known, we bought a campground. We have a campground store now. So we've set up distributorships with all the big companies that we love and we can get access for our members to those products and save you a ton of money. Um, we are getting a couple notes about um, the video being blurry. If you could take a quick minute and let us know, we're going to try one quick experiment. We're going to try so one. Hold on for just two seconds. Yeah, we had internet put here at Thunder Canyon, and then suddenly, before we went live today, um, so do you it started to try goofing around. Did that? Um, so I was frozen. Now that it's the change has been made, give me a. and still frozen. All right. What about this one? We now, all right, let's try now. How is this going? How's this going, guys? Can you give us a thumbs up? Start over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now is. Let's see. It's frozen again. So what do we do? Do we want to move this and hardline it to the office? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't trust our system. So. All right. All right. Cause we still got to go over the myths. 
<laughs> this is crazy. All right, so we're at about 480. I see and hear you. Thank you, Telly Hack. Yep. Thank you, Stacy King. Um, guys, we really, really apologize for this. We actually are on great internet here. We had um, uh, fiber optics installed at the campground and get about a gig. It, this this internet usually flies. Yep. And for some reason today, 15 minutes before we were going live, we were having all kinds of problems with it. So. Yeah. We put a lot of money into networking gear here at Thunder Canyon so that we have the best internet that there is, but it looks like we may have picked the wrong company to do that. Well, so it's looking like the logos looks like it's good now, but we're on our internet. Yeah, we're on our internet. We left the internet that we've paid a fortune for. So all right. So um what would you like to do? Do you want to continue or do you want to all right? Can some of you tell us if we're back? Yeah, it looks like they're telling us right there. Logos hey are guys, sharp. long time listener waiting for trailer to come in. Do you see me? You're frozen. Yep. We're still frozen. Well, um, so do you want to do the speed test or how do we? Honey, there's no point in doing a speed test. They're telling us what they can see. So do you want? All right, to... we're good. Got a girl. Thank you, Tom, yeah. Brenda Grady. All right, guys, we're going to try to go on a miss and see what happens um, with our internet. Again, we have fantastic internet. Um, this shouldn't be doing this, but we'll figure out the problem after this one. This can't happen ever again. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go into the ten reality, no, the eight realities of RV life. We're frozen um, again, Andrea. It's blurry, guys. We understand. Yeah, it's gonna be blurry. So. All right, guys. We're gonna try something. If you even hear this, we're gonna try to jump on a hard line and see if that works. Okay. Um, and uh, so we'll be back. You want to go to the other computer? Yep. All We're right. going to go to another computer that's hard lined into <laughs> a crappy system. Thanks. You we'll wanna... see in a little bit. All right. But you're not going to close Here. it, right? Well, I think I should close it. I won't be able to get on both. You won't be able to go on stay both? Right okay. I'm going to stay right here. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's just, um, it keeps hopping on to ours. And it looks like I <laughs> go to the bathroom and come back. <laughs> no, but guys, we got to fix this because we have a whole bunch of classes that we want to do. And if this is not working this early on, you're not going to want to join the next class. So this is this is a big deal. We got to get this right. So I appreciate your guys' patience and feedback, letting us know how it's going. Let's see. John's going to tell me when he's up and running. What's the name of the thing? It's uh, StreamYard. What's the name of the thing? Yeah, it is the joys of technology, but it, you know, got to roll with the punches, you know? And it's funny because one of the things that we probably said about three times was about the internet. And now we're in a house and our internet's failing. That's just rich. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> we have no excuses now. We're not in the RV. So... John's going in and trying to go in through a different computer that has a hard line to the internet. So this should be really, really good. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like one of the issues was, uh, was a blur. It almost looks like a thumbprint, but no, no thumbprints, no thumbprints. So. Wouldn't that be horrible if the internet was just fine and it was just a thumbprint? That would be really bad. It seems fine now. What if that was just a thumbprint? All right. How's it looking, John? John? Okay. Blurry is fine. So it is still blurry. Hey, babe. All right. I'm closing this one. No, 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 no. Don't do anything. Well, we can't both let's, talk. Let's see if mine this. looks better. Let's let's let them see. Is there any difference? Because we're going to pull the plug on this and do it again. All right. Turn on the light. So they say that the blur started when we zoomed in in the beginning. 
No, those, the blur is starting because we something's going wrong with our internet. And we knew that 15 minutes before we went live, you guys. So, um, unfortunately, we are going to pull the plug on this and, uh, and maybe do it another time. We apologize for this inconvenience. I don't trust the internet. Um, we're, not even, we're not even on wireless. This is hardlined into a fiber optics that we pay 187 bucks for one gig a month. But we're and, being told that you look good. Yeah. We're getting good comments here. You don't want to continue in the office? Um, sure. Come on in. Okay. Can I close this one though? Yeah. Maybe if Charlie knows that we're hardlined, there won't be any excuses. Come on in. Okay. Can I close this one though? Yeah. Close it. You know what? It's not that everything goes perfectly. It's what you do when it hits the fan, you know? Okay, guys, how's that? And then we have to find that, we have to pull up that slide on this computer. Yep, and I can do that for you. Okay. I will go ahead and send that over to you. Oh boy, you know, um, it, as frustrating as that is, I kind of try to remember that it could be so much worse. Yeah, no, 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 no. These are, these are Cadillac problems. We were priding ourselves on having the best internet of any campground in the country, and we have had amazing internet. Except that we are getting Except a it. lot of positive. So it's kind of cool that you guys were willing to put up with not so good video for us. But this one. Yep. Don't forget the download. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So let me share this. All right. Like nothing ever happened. Let's go ahead and. I know. Wait, quick. Woosa. Let's say a quick prayer. <laughs> God, help us get through this. Amen. Okay. Uh, let's see. Share screen. Let's yeah. go to a window. Let's go there here. Go. Hey guys, by the way, don't forget the Woo All, right. All right, I'm gonna leave us small, you guys. I'm gonna leave us small because I don't feel like doing this no. the whole time. No, don't leave us small. All right, though. we're gonna let Mercedes decide. So, okay. Yeah. Oh. Can let's we just see. get into the realities, the eight brutal realities of our life? Okay, there you go. But see, now you're cut off, and I'd rather have me cut off than you That's cut off. That's perfect. Okay, there you go. Okay. That's perfect. All right. All right, so let's get down to... This is so painful. <laughs> <laughs> this hurts. It hurts my soul. We told you we'd become professional RVers, and I really do believe we have become, but we're not professional techies. I so... know. We're going to have to like take this video and like cut out the first half of it. All right. You ready? Right. Yeah. Eight realities of the RV life. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Shout out to our friend at Matt at RV at Matt's RV Reviews. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the first reality, you gotta go slow. Go slow. Yeah. Everyone RVs differently. Yeah. You know what? If you look in the comments of any video we do, it's so hilarious what people see and what they think. Every there's so many people out there that judge the way each of us RV harshly, right? And think that their way is the best way. There is no right or wrong way to RV. We're all different. Some of us love to boondock in the middle of nowhere. Some of us can't RV without having full hookups, right? Yeah. Some people call that glamping. Yeah. But the reality is gonna be different for everybody. Cause So just the way you, just because you RV the way you do doesn't mean that everybody else should. Yeah. And this is a big one when it comes to like showers, when it comes to, how uncomfortable are you willing to get? And also, that answer depends. Are you full time? Are you RVing for a weekend? Like, if it's just a weekend, you're willing to camp it and rough it, and like you don't need that much water. But like, if this is your life all the time, no. Yeah, and, and you know, we've been honest with you guys. We like glamping. Yeah, you know, I like showers. We love Piper, our sandpiper. <laughs> we love RVing in it, and we like pulling in and getting full hookups. You know. Yeah. All right, all right next, next one. one? Oh. No, don't do that. Somebody's no asking you don't do that. Oh, yeah, because then he'll, he'll copyright it. <laughs> He's going to copyright, copyright us. I don't think he would, but. <laughs> no, all right. <clears throat> Guys, don't take offense to this. All right, but RVing is not worth it if you don't RV often. Now, let's play this out before I get all the hate in the comments saying, meh, meh, meh. okay, let's say you buy a travel trailer, a $20,000 RV, and let's say you go out two weekends out of the year. Let's make them long weekends, three days, six days total. 
So you spent twenty thousand dollars for six days of vacation time. That's and have a depreciating asset. Yeah. So <laughs> like, you know, I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, do it. Otherwise, you might as well be better off like just um, renting an RV. Well, but let's go back to the last one. There is everyone's different. You might be very wealthy or have the means to say, you know, to have a beautiful RV and use it when you want to. Yeah. So there's no, there's, it's not, it's not right or wrong. It's yeah. just all we're doing is pointing out the reality that RVing can be very, very, very expensive. And I'm going to share something with you guys and Thousand Trails will go nuts that I say this, but it's true. It's totally true. Ooh, what are you going to say? The Thousand Trails <laughs> membership makes most of its money on people that are going to buy a membership and camp all over the place and then three months and they quit. Yeah. So those who use the Thousand Trail membership really, really benefit from it. True that. So those who don't use their Thousand Trails membership after purchasing it, um, pay for camping of those who use it regularly. Mm -hmm. Again, in our first year, we had our cost down under 10 bucks a night with full hookups as we traveled around the country with our Thousand Trails membership. Say what you will about Thousand Trails, guys, mm -hmm. but there is no competition. We're hoping to become competition, which is what we're starting here at Thunder Canyon. Well, that, and it's, it's like... Think about the upkeep too that we're not even including. Yeah. That's like a boat. Yeah, you know? even AZ sand plus storage fees. Yes. You know, it just depends. Again, it's different for everybody. The classes we're going to share with you over the next six months are going to help you figure out what's best for you. Yes. Not everybody else because nobody else matters. This is so subjective, mm -hmm. right? And it's each of us is going to like different things. I like it. Okay. Right, next one. Next one. Okay. This is like <laughs> my mom is talking to me in the background. But she's like, that's a lot of work for vacation. I'd rather be at a hotel and have someone else cook for me. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I see where she's coming from. Like, she kind of has a point. But like, for some people being out in the wild and nature is like so much fun and it's so good for the soul. But it's important to note that a travel day is kind of a work day. I mean, think about all the work you have to do, like hooking the thing up and moving it and then getting it off the the truck or or getting it you know parked right and then you know getting everything set up like that's not <laughs> for the faint of heart again <laughs> it's different for everybody mercedes and i disagree on just about everything it's not a lot of work to me i love it i love the adventure of going to a new place there is a lot of work to rving but We'll tell you that after a year and a half of doing this, we started to find our sweet spot, which mm -hmm. for us was about a month. Yep. Moving to a location gives you a month to really look and go through that area. When we started out, we were doing like a week to 10 days to most the most two weeks. Yep. And that was a little bit fast. So that right at the time we start to settle down in a location, it was time to go to the next location. Yeah. And going to the next location is always exciting, right? It's an adventure if you haven't been there before, but it does take a lot of work to do it. Yep, it's a, it's a lot of work. And again, it depends on your RV. If you're in a van, maybe not as hard as a 42 foot fifth wheel that yeah. there's a lot of work to. There's and a lot of physicality. It also depends on, you know, do you have a fire pit that's outside and all this stuff that you put all out the there. Toys. All, all the toys, toys the bicycles, free. the motorcycles, all that. You know, it just, it just depends on how you RV. It's different for everybody. Everybody. True that. All right, next one. <laughs> okay, guys. Like <laughs> Dave Ramsey kind of has a point here. Like it's a depreciating asset. It's a horribly depreciating like, asset. This is not something that you put in your portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> you know Especially I mean? right now, the price of these things are through oh, the now, roof. Now you'd be like, you know, I ain't got no savings, but I own two RVs. I might as well be rich. Well, here's what's interesting. In the new now. economy we're in right now, our rig right now is worth more if we sold it than it was when we bought it two yeah. years ago. Yeah, but a dollar is That'll blow less your mind. But when this thing does tank, when this thing does eventually when this this rush in the rv space does slow down yeah boy is there going to be some great deals out there in a lot of rvs mm -hmm. a lot of hype in the rv industry people think people are just tired they want something to do they they've been in their houses they, for yeah two years. man they want to get out and see the country <laughs> be with nature you know get next yeah. tight to god True that. and and uh you know and so but again it's different for everybody mm -hmm. just we're just going to tell we're going to try to help you understand your risk mm -hmm. and what it's really going to cost you long term. True that. All right, the next one. Okay, this one, we need to talk about this one, people. Because let's say you decide to RV in the cold. Well, guess what? It's cold. <laughs> and it's really hard to keep the RV, like, insulated. 
let's say you decide to RV in the warm weather. Well, ha nobody talks about like how loud and annoying the AC really sounds. Again, depending on your model. But it sounds like you were in an airplane. It's like a constant. In a cheap model, we're in a we're in a we're in a we're in a lower we're in a cheaper model. You jump up into a Riverstone, and it's not like that at all. So, guys, you get for what you pay in an RV. You People get go what out, you pay for it. yeah. You go out and you spend sixty, <laughs> seventy thousand dollars in an RV. It, 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 they they pop these things out quick. Yeah. Usually, they'll do twenty seven of a model in a day. You know, forty two foot fifth wheels um, and, and with 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 less costing products, mm -hmm. right? And so those RVs are going to be sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. You step up another class to better insulation, thicker roofs, better yeah. materials, and then they're only putting two or three of these a day out. You're going to get what you pay well, for, guys. That's true, but then like if you if it rains, you know. Oh, back to weather. I'm yeah, sorry. no, we're talking. About, <laughs> I digress. She's like squirrel. No, we're talking about weather though. So like, then it rains, and then you're inside the RV. I remember watching the YouTube channel, and they were like, "It's okay to have a really small RV because you're never going to be inside the thing." And it's like, that's not my reality. Mm -hmm. I'm inside the RV a lot. Well, and then again, Mercedes and I are different. We've had tornado threats. We've gone through hailstorms. We've we, gone through a lot. We've gone. With, we've gone through a lot in our RV. We actually just got our RV after having it gone for two months while I had a new roof put on it. Right. Yeah. Um, I love weather events. I'm that guy that really enjoys that stuff. I love I love lightning. I love thunder. I love I love rain on the roof when I sleep. It does sound cool. It upsets Mercedes. It, she gets really uncomfortable. And so well, um the, well, what are you calling a weather event? Like rain like twinkling down beautifully on the roof. No, what drive thing, but you you are into like weather. No, yeah, yeah, but I, what I, but with that said, what I do agree with is is you get into a beautiful location and Mother Nature decides you are yeah. in a small rig, you know, anywhere from a hundred square feet to three hundred and four hundred square feet. Mm -hmm. When you're stuck in an RV for three or four days with other members of your family, like yeah. that could be challenging. You start getting a little bit of cabin fever, guys, mm -hmm. and so I think that's what Mercedes is talking well, about here. Exactly, and then let's also. Okay, so then let's say you're RVing, like, remember when we were RVing in Florida in the summer? Like, that's, I mean, you you will acclimate to wherever you are. But right. just remember that the weather doesn't stay outside like in a normal house. It enters the RV no yeah. matter what. Jim Manley here makes a great point that it really depends on the manufacturer and the model. It does. Do your homework. Um, but... Um, most RVs are not designed to be lived in full time, guys. Mm -hmm. Again, so it's they're not. There's not a lot of. Um, there's not a lot to these things. Exactly. All right. Next. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I think this I was is, having this is a, Mercedes. I think I was having a moment when I wrote these. <laughs> And then she asked me to look at the layout for today's class, and I'm, this is 11 o'clock class, and I'm like, come on, babe, why are you so negative? It's not a dangerous toy. It is an oversized dangerous toy. See, this is what I, this is what I deal with every day, you guys. I love my RV. I'm not intimidated by it. And that's why, again, these glasses are going to help you settle down. Because it's all bad, people. It's, it's not all bad. All bad. It's, yeah. You really believe she really loves the RV lifestyle? No. Okay. Okay. RV can be a lot of fun. And I've gotten to see some amazing things that I wouldn't have gotten to see otherwise. But they are dangerous. And it's an oversized dangerous isn't this ridiculous? You know. So again, Mercedes boys, writes this. Boys and their toys. Yeah. I don't know how to write. I don't read. I don't know how to read or write. So she does all this stuff, and I just look at it and go, God, I would never want to RV. He does know how to read and write. <laughs> He's just not. I just tell her that because I don't want to look at what she writes. That's all. He, just, he tells me that so he doesn't have to check the emails. Yeah, I don't know reading. how to read or write. No, you know? he, That's what you want to do. We'll do it. He does know how to read and write. <laughs> and maybe calling them a toy is not quite appropriate, but they are, they're big, they're dangerous, they weigh tons and tons of pounds. So it just, it's so important to prioritize the safety. There's like a lot of fire danger. They're really heavy. They can, you know, car accidents can be really dangerous. There's they're also pain. a lot of fun and home is where you park it, you guys. That's how I feel about it. I don't think it's an oversized dangerous toy. I think it's a an oversized uh, uh, 
or, or I think it's a tiny home on wheels. That's how I look at my RV. So I wouldn't have done it like this, but we agree on nothing as I can't usual. Stop laughing. <laughs> RVs are an oversized, dangerous. Toy. Yeah, I love my RV. All right, next. Here we go. This is Mercedes, guys. This is why I tell her I don't know how to read or write. She does these things in these presentations. I'm like, my God. You guys are in class right now. <laughs> No, if you didn't know, poop stinks. <laughs> poop stinks, you guys. It's really smelly. It's horrible. <laughs> no, the point poop stinks is... in a regular house. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I'm trying to say, though, is like when you're dumping tanks, even the gray water smells bad. You know, like <laughs> I should have read RV stinks. So, anyways, what Mercedes is trying to say here. <laughs> Don't mansplain me. I'm not going to mansplain you. <laughs> Is that it, you know, anyways, in RV life, there are more smells than normal in yes. your RV. You've got to manage your tanks. You will get better at it as you go. And you will smell a little bit more of it in RV parks, right? Because some people don't know how to do this. They'll spill it around in the area. And so, um, so anyways, you guys, uh, poop stinks. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We got to show this one, guys. Congratulations on fire. All right, Mark, man. Congratulations <laughs> on your first oversized dangerous toy. <laughs> and thanks for the five bucks, Mark. We really appreciate it. Oh, I think boy. we're the only channel on YouTube that does not do sponsorships or anything. We're completely funded by by all you, all of you. Exactly. So congratulations <laughs> on your first dangerous toy. The first one's always the most special. <laughs> and we will do Q and A at the end of this thing, guys. Be patient. We got to get through Mercedes' uh, <laughs> such positive slideshow. All right, reality. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> Family is a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. it depends on what Mercedes' mind is. And last night I was telling her I couldn't read or write. So she thinks I'm a pain in the butt. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. You know, it's only the people that you love so dearly that can infuriate you so much to your core. That's, that's true. If you didn't care, they wouldn't piss you off so much. Yeah. And now this is going to be different if you are like full time um you're not going to have the regular breaks that typical life gives you you know the kids go away for eight hours you go away for eight hours and then everyone comes and they're only together like in the mornings and at night um if you're full time you're also going to experience some things with family whereas like sometimes family is not going to be really supportive of you going full time but then if you're going on a weekend trip and you're inviting the whole family you know, um, the cousins, the aunts, uncles, you might find yourself questioning why you decided to do that, <laughs> depending on the family and depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. So um, family first, you love family, but let's like not pretend like they're easy to deal with all the time. Well, family's family, you exactly. guys, and you said it perfectly. I think the, the biggest blessing I've had since we started our being is I'm with my family 24 seven and I've watched Sage grow every single day. <laughs> Somebody's not watching her. She's with me. Mm -hmm. She's seen some of the most beautiful places in the country. Um, yeah. Is it a challenge in your relationship? Yeah. I think the point here is, is that if you're considering the RV lifestyle, especially full time, you need to have the deep conversations with your partner yeah. uh, and get honest with yourselves about what you can do and what you can't do. Get really honest about it yep. because we should have learned from last year, people who are not emotionally ready should not be put into a small space 24 7 I know. horrible things can happen to yeah, people you no. guys and in the stress too like think about it you're stuck in a small space and let's say you don't have a good financial plan to afford it you add that on top of it let's say you add kids to the mix and i mean you could really really we met a Canadian family once that had 12 kids in a travel trailer and they were traveling full time around the United States. Yeah, they're you know, a brave soul. Yeah, but you know, again, it's different for everybody. I think healthier people will get along with, we're, we're not too healthy. And so. <laughs> we're not. We're not. But I think, I think it's a great place to get close to family, God you know, in community. And that's what we, that's what we say the RVO squad is, you know, people that believe in, in God, family and community. And that's what we're building. And we love the family we're building, but 
Um, so I, I, again, I saw this last night at 1130, <laughs> you know, at this slide and I was like, okay, that's what you want to do. So on to the next slide. Let's see what she's got in no, store for it, us it next. It gets better. It gets better. Okay. You ready? Questions. Hey, it's questions. <laughs> Make sure you put your questions in Is your family caps. a fan of the book? <laughs> yeah. Like, what about Bob? Yeah. So quick thank you to Bob for Thunder Canyon. Hey, thanks, Bob. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we really do. Thunder Canyon's turning out absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty cool. And we also want to um, uh, welcome Ed uh, Christians. Looks like he is a new um, a new member. Um, so a couple of questions um, that are, well, we'll do this one and then we'll get to the older questions. Okay, sorry, Cindy. No. We'll get to you. <laughs> The Mercedes runs the show. I just sit here and be comic relief. No, he's just here for the looks. Okay. So, All right. okay. Um, uh, John will not be joining um, the the trucker convoy. Thanks for that question. Um, is the class outline in the download? Yes, the class outline is in the download. We're going to get deeper in each class, but we wanted to give you guys a good um, detail, uh, good info on that. Uh, internet. What's the best internet for someone that does gaming? Um, hardwired. High speed. Hardwired. Well, I mean, there's a, there's there's internet options now, guys. It's getting better and better and better. Um, and there's very very simple solutions. Hotspot works fantastic in most areas. We do carry a Verizon and an AT and T because mm -hmm. one works and the other one usually does. We've only been in one location our whole time our being where both didn't work, and that was in Yosemite. Um, yeah. That was the only time that we didn't have internet. Mm -hmm. um, but there's tons of solutions. We've done WeBoost, which I think is okay. Everybody raves about it, but the it, Mimo is fifty bucks, and it's just the good. Mimo plugs in. It's well, it's a hundred. It was it was fifty bucks when we started. Now everybody, you know, the RVers tell you that the Mimo is so good, it just plugs in your hotspot. M I M O, and um, and 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 uh, now that Mimo is a hundred bucks because it works fantastic. What's the other one we tried? We try all different products. Oh, RF Solid. RF Solid. We try. We tried just about everything. And what we do here at, at the RV Odd Couple is we buy the products ourselves. We test them for months and months and months. And when we find a really good product, that's the one that we get behind. We don't have sponsorships where they pay us to do videos and then we get a big, huge piece of the pie. But they get to they get to edit our videos. They get to tell us what we can say, what we can can cannot do. We have never done that. We never plan on doing that. We just plan on telling the truth. Mm -hmm. So the products that we suggest, the TST, the Clear Source, the Soft Start, these are all the best products you can buy. There is a lot of junk in the RV space, but you can trust. Any product that we suggest is a product that is has is a good product, has good customer support, and it's backed by a good solid company. Yeah, no, great point. And then uh, where's the RV park at? It is in Alabama. Ider, Alabama. And then um, how are we going? Uh, how are we going? The classes, y'all. I don't know if you're asking how to join. Um, we'll post on them on social and on YouTube. And then if you're part of our newsletter and our mailing list, you get all the downloads included. And if you want the download, you can um, join. There's a there's a link below to do that. Yeah, well, Jim Jim just said it. You remember if, just by being here. If, you, mm -hmm. if, if you're watching us, you remember the RV Hot Squad. If you'd like more information and getting closer to the RV Hot Squad like and becoming involved. part of our yeah. Yeah, growing community, um, then, you know, subscribe to the newsletter or join us. Yeah. Join us. We're doing some pretty cool stuff, you guys. You're going to hear more and more about it coming up. Now, Doug has a question. Um, does buying a gently owned to your RV make more sense given <laughs> depreciation? Sometimes it does. Yes. Oh, the librarian looks the part, but the professor needs to up his game, maybe a button up shirt and a shave. He needs to shave. No <laughs> kidding. No kidding, Richard Nix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's struggling. Thank, Thank you, Cindy. Uh, now we got to get to your question. Know, Let's see. Let me go see questions. if I can see Cindy Ott's question. <laughs> Ask us that question no, again. I got it. Okay, can, we got can it. Can a travel trailer be pulled safely if done correctly? Yes. It's, yes. And and I think it also has to do with your skill set in driving and what you're towing it with. Like yeah. there's a lot of features. Usually, here. it's never the um uh, uh, the vehicle. It's usually the operator, mm. the driver that causes 99% because they didn't take safety precautions. They were speeding. They didn't, you know, uh, put on the right equipment. Um, we personally um, uh, like fifth wheel better because of the control with dualies. That's that's our personal choice. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like the travel trailer because of the death wobble. Obviously, 
The longer the trailer gets, the more dangerous it becomes, especially when you do not weight it properly. Yeah. If you have a travel trailer that's long, you've got that overhang in the back, sometimes 10, 12 feet, and people put a lot of weight back there, you are asking for disaster if you do that. So it's yeah. usually not um, the, the travel vehicle trailer itself. itself. It's that it wasn't hooked up properly, it, that the proper safety equipment wasn't used, and that the driver made, driver made mistakes wasn't paying attention, yeah. wasn't monitoring his tires with a TST system, yeah. you know, that'll warn him if his tires get lower, they get hot or they, they get a puncture in them. TST, we, we, if there was one product we would tell every RVer to get, it would be a TST system. It's hands down the best product out there. It's the one that's really, it saved our butt three times in three years mm -hmm. um, to get off and safely get off the side of the road and, you know, do what we needed to do to fix that tire and avoid disaster. So yeah. we love TST. If you are a member of the RV, a paid member of the RV Odd Squad, we also, we, we launched our new store. Um, there's, I think, there's only five or six products in our store right now. Again, guys, because we don't pump a lot of products. We just pump the products we know um, that we would say to our friends, you know, in family. Mm -hmm. And so if you are a member, then you get huge discounts and wholesale pricing on all the products that we love. So those of you who do come in for membership, we, we promise you, you're going to get your money's worth. You, you're going to triple your membership. All right. Quick thank you to Stacy King. And I'm getting really behind on these questions. We appreciate the super sticker. We hope we brought you some laughter this morning. Yeah. That was a good laugh. Thanks, Stacy. It started like like not good, but it turned into something <laughs> funny. All right. We got a lot of questions, so All bear right. with me. Hold on, Dan. Um, sorry. Go ahead. Any questions. tips on RVing with pets? Um, we actually have a whole video on that because if especially if you're gonna RV long term, you wanna make sure you have certain things under um like in line. Yeah. But uh, it depends on the Most pet. importantly, take care of your pet. Be responsible. <laughs> Don't let your pet poop without same, picking it same out. with the kids. Keep them on a leash. <laughs> same thing with the kids. You know, but yeah, there's the, we've got one video on that. We're going to go into that some more. Our members, we also have a product um, called telemedicine and televet. Yeah. where you have access to your doctor and your veterinarian 24 seven with a phone app. You can actually see them on the phone and talk to them. Yep. Um, um, the next one is who is the best company to rent a class B van for a week or a month and how much should it cost to rent a class B van? You know, what you're going to want to watch out for Ruth is that, uh, when you do those kinds of rentals, many times there will be a max amount of miles that you can drive. So if you're going to be renting it for a longer term, Try to map out how far are you driving and make sure you don't exceed those mileage limitations. Well, just read the details. Yep. The read details, everything. Read the, the, details. the details. Remember, through these share agencies, you're you're renting somebody else's RV. You have yeah. no clue of how they've taken it. I would say make sure that other people have given it five star reviews. The reviews are you know, really and not just the vehicle, but the owner took care of problems when problems arise. Yep. Problems are gonna arise all the time on RVs. Get used mm -hmm. to it. Learn how to fix them, guys. Mm -hmm. um, don't rely on having somebody else fix them. You, I mean, we've got one friend now that has not had that RV for eight months. Brand new RV. Yeah. It's been in the shop for eight months. Yep. You know, and so these things break. They break often. Mm -hmm. um, and so get ready to spend a lot of money on techs and wait a long time or just learn how to how to fix them. They're not too, too hard. And there's a lot of classes out there that will, that will help you do that. Yep. Next question from William Herm, is Starlink good? Now, we don't have experience with Starlink, so I don't want to opine on that. We signed up for Starlink. Um, the problem for our viewers right now is, is that you have to give them an area code. Yeah. Um, and so we picked Colorado as an area code because that's where we thought we would be when we signed up. And, uh, um, and it, well, no, it's not that. It's, it's that the satellites, that they're bringing people in and allowing, you know, this, the satellites are set to your location. So I don't, I don't, I'm not so sure that Starlink offers a moving Starlink service. Mm -hmm. They'll give you satellites that are positioned in the sky for your location, but not all over the country. I don't believe yet. Yeah. And a quick thank you to Jim and Melissa Davis. We yeah. really appreciate that. Are you two members? Yep. Uh, next question. Um, so um, what are your thoughts on the Overland style square drop trailers? See, what I like about the smaller trailers is that I think they they can be a little bit safer than the 38 foot travel trailers. Well, just, again, <laughs> it's, it's, more, it's more of the driver than anything yeah. else. It's the operator that causes the problems, not the RV itself. I mean, some the, the there's some junk RV. Cool. Yeah, I love overlanding. If I was ever by myself or was just near Mercedes, I would love to go overlanding it and go out into the middle of nowhere. Imagine how positive 
if my my outline would be if we were overlanding and having to like dig a hole in the ground. It's just the not. It's just not her game. It's just not. I'm, I'm into that. Yeah. I, I actually love going to places where there's less people. The less people, the more I enjoy the area. The more quiet. The darker it is, the more I really enjoy it. Mercedes likes, uh, she just likes what she likes. She wants full hookups. She wants uh, a grocery store that's 10 or 15 minutes away. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, we're different. So these are the conversations we had before we started in, in these classes over the next six months, especially with, we're going to be doing a private RV odd couples that we're yeah. working on. And we're going to be doing a live zoom with other RV odd couples and talking about getting into the stuff, right? Yeah, the the real, stuff, yeah. the real stuff that goes on behind the scenes and almost, almost kind of counseling for each other and building that community. Yeah. Um, and we'll be announcing that real soon. That will be for our paid members. No, you'll all be counseling us. Okay. <laughs> no, um, Mark asked, how do you become a member? Uh, gotta repeat this one. You are a member. If you, if you're here, you're subscribed. But there's different levels of membership. Some people want to be really active and other people just want to watch a video every day. Well, so. can I say one thing? Not everybody is a member of the RV Odd Squad. If you watch us and you give more than you take, mm. you know, then like you're that. somebody that we'll call an RV Odd Squad member. There's a lot of jerks out there, guys. We guess about 5 to 7% of the people that watch our videos are just jerks. You know, they're not RV Odd Squad members, but those people, again, we say is simply, if you're kind, considerate, have manners, and like to help other people, you remember the RV Odd Squad. Come on over and join us, meet some other great people, and help us grow this community. I love it. And um, the next question is, do we need a membership number to purchase <laughs> through the store? No, what's really cool is if you go to uh, store.rvoddcouple.com, um, we, we have that if you are a... a other type of member, you know, um, we do offer discounts through there if you're getting our newsletter. We'll so if you just go to the store the way it is right now, guys, yeah. you'll get the lowest price we are allowed to offer it to the public. public. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, if you find a lower price, let us know. We'll, yep. we'll match it or beat it. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you become a member, we give you a login information so that you get the same products for what we get it for. Um, just with a little bit of markup so that we can pay the people to do all the processing. It's really exciting what we're working on, you guys. And and by the end, by I would say by June of this year, that store is going to be loaded with great products. We just signed up Snap Pads. Right now we're a distributor. We can get those at wholesale. We now have TST. We have Softstar. We have, and, and these are all products. The people that support us, right, that, that be, buy a membership, we do everything in our power to save you more money than you spent in the membership. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we've got, well, we've got, we've got more than a thousand members, but it's kind of segmented. We have our YouTube membership people yeah. um, that we're actually building a product for. for, for you guys. Yep, yeah. For the people that are members on the YouTube we're channel, working on some stuff. we're working on some stuff to give you access to private logins in some of these things because you, you're paying members. Mm -hmm. Um, YouTube doesn't give us much access to that information at all. We can just see your, we see your YouTube name. That's all we see. We don't see email. We don't see anything. But yeah. We're working on some stuff um, to, to uh, you know, to, to make that better. Yeah. Next question. This is definitely a question for me. Uh, three axles. How much with sleigh? <laughs> Um, it, it, it's, uh, it just depends on the rig, man. Every rig's a little bit different. Do your homework. You know, uh, what we tell people is, is that, do three or four months of research and get on as many rigs as you possibly yeah. can. Even if you don't think you want them, just go to walk a show, them. Yeah. walk them, get in them, feel them, sit in the couch, feel it, you know, sit on the toilet, like Matt from Matt's RV, yeah. all that stuff. And then once you think you know the model you want, you know, then you take your checkbook with you. Never yeah. take your checkbook with you. More people go to these RV shows and buy on emotion, yeah. right? Because the dream, oh, this is going to be great. Yep. And they get they get crushed. So that you should be doing a lot of research. Anybody who takes this class for the next six months is going to be armed with all the facts they need to know about themselves and their partner, whoever they're traveling with, to make good decisions and not get screwed by the companies that are professional at screwing people. Mm -hmm. um, next question: When will Thunder Canyon be fully completed? Ooh. Uh, well, right now it's member only. Um, that members can come in right now, and that has a lot to do with insurance, guys. We're hoping that the um, that Thunder Canyon is the first of many RV Odd Squad uh, resorts parks across the country. And so we have people that pay, that have prepaid for time to come here. Those people are coming in and also helping us build it out. 
These are some of the nicest, greatest people. These are our family now. Um, there's 157 of those people right now that are members, and and they can come in any time. We, I mean, the one of the things I I love about Google, and I I don't I don't like Google, but one of the things I love about the Google algorithm is the more Mercedes and I are honest and real and who we are. We believe in God, country. We believe in giving and helping people. We believe in family. The more we do that, the more people we attract that we want to be with. And the ones that we don't want to really hang around with because we just don't have a lot in common with, they stay away. You know, and that's what I love about the algorithm. People come in here for the first time that we've known on YouTube for a year or two and we camp with them for a week or two. And they're family. We break bread together, you know, um, and we, we work together. We sweat together making this place so that we can bring people in here and give all the glory to God because this whole thing is a gift. It really is. It really is. Um so let's see. I just wanted to uh, double Stacey check. Stacy King. Yep. Welcome, Stacy. Um, so the next question is: um, are, are you in Upper Alabama or Lower Alabama, aka Alabama stand? We are up in the right. <laughs> we're in the northeast corner of Alabama. We're about ten minutes from the Georgia uh, border, and we're about twenty minutes from the Tennessee border. Oh, yeah. maybe maybe thirty minutes from the Tennessee border. Yeah. And then, um, oh, we... real quick update on Morel. Morel, last time we spoke to him, he was doing well. So thank you for the prayers for him. Um, he had surgery. We haven't heard from him since he had surgery, but he'll be checking in soon. Yeah. But um, thank you for all the prayers. Do we need a bartender? Um, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine how much how much worse that would get if we had that? Um, <clears throat> next question. Um, uh, let's see. How do we get the telemedical or televet? So um, if you look on our description, um, you can sign up for uh, telehealth. That's like 29 bucks a month. It's 29 bucks a month is the best price we can get. That's a little less money than Good Sam's charges for it. But if you become a, like a member, a member. founder member, yeah. which is 497, you get that included for one year, which is what, $320, 300, yeah, $320 value. Um, and we also give you wholesale pricing on all the products we can get. Guys, if you're a new, if you're an, and Tim from San Diego hates when I say that, he hates the word newbie. But if you're new in the RV space or a kid sitter in the lifestyle, become a member of the RV Odd Squad. Guys, we can help you. We can help you a lot. We can save you a ton of money on products. We actually have Jenny now is working for us full time where she gives support to those who need it. Um, we're still building all this out. It's a lot, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that we're doing, but most yeah. of our time goes to serving our people, the people that support us. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we, we give our tech, we give our, our phone number out. So we text with those people. We support those people. People yeah. that support us are our family and we do everything we can to help them to be successful. And there's nothing better than having, having them pull in here after, you know, knowing them through YouTube after a year and a half and meeting them, mm -hmm. you know, and hanging out with them for a little while. It's, it's the best. God is good. So next question. Um, what will what are the rates for per night at Thunder Canyon? So we already have that up um, on the website, but right now it's a it's we're trying to make it a members only campground, right? And so, um, but it, you know, because the insurance is through the roof mm -hmm. on for public campgrounds, so we're hoping it's a member only campground. If you go to thundercanyoncampground.com, you'll see our website. It's saying opening soon. It's going to be later in the spring, yeah. um, and we don't Early know if summer. we'll ever open up to the public. We're hoping to make it a member only park, but economics is economics. Um, we might even have the most beautiful section of Thunder Canyon maybe for the members. Mm -hmm. And then the public will be on the higher side, the part that we're developing right now, but we'll make it all work out. We'll figure it out somehow. And then um, a quick thank you to Tom. We really appreciate it. Hey, thanks Tom. Thanks mm -hmm. for the support, man. Really appreciate it. And then a really good question. Um, uh, Chris, I'm not religious, but still conservative. Will we be welcome? Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not trying to be like <laughs> everybody's welcome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just it, don't come in here and hate me because I believe something that you don't. Yeah, you know? just be kind and friendly. I, I know? yeah. I don't think this is <laughs> help other people. And no, we're not. And it's it's no. We're no. not trying to say like only certain types of people. Yeah, no. But we do tend to attract. We're friends with everybody. We have gay friends. <laughs> we have also. We have all black, white, brown. All, we're friends with everybody. The most important thing we look for is the character of the person, not the color, yeah. not their beliefs. Everybody, we all, our, our beliefs are all molded by outside influences we since should, we're a little kid. And we should be able to share about those. And I think it's yeah. better when you're around people that. I'd rather know what somebody really thinks than to, than to lie to me. 
and guess what they're thinking or tell me what, you know, um, something that's not true. Yep. And so, no, we're just open to kind, considerate people. Hopefully you have manners and, and are willing to help other people. I'm going to check on the kid real I'll quick. Get her, but... I'll get her. You go. Okay. You answer questions. Thank you. Let me go this way. All right. All right. Question. RV warranties, are they worth it? So one of the things we did when we first bought our RV was we got all the warranties. We got the optical warranty, the tires, everything. When it came time to actually use the warranty, it was not good. Like they would, uh, nickel and dime me, oh, we'll cover this, we won't cover that. Oh, we won't cover for them to come to you because your tire's flat. And I'm like, so you want me to drive the RV without a tire? What do you want me to do? And they're like, well, no, we won't pay for this. We won't pay for that. And they were nickel and diming me on the taxes. Their computer system was coming up with the wrong amount um, on the taxes. And I had to say like, no, this is the wrong rate here. So my experience with warranties was so horrible. And not to mention that there's typically a lot of delays in, in getting that type of warranty work completed that I just, I do not like warranties. That's not to say that you shouldn't consider it depending on what your skill set is. I mean, I have John and he can fix a lot of things that I can't, but it's just, it just seems like they're really quick to sell you the warranty, but they're not really quick to um, actually service the warranty. That's my two cents. Thank you for saying that, Jim. That Jim, that's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> true that, true that. Hey, Jennifer Schufer, thanks for all the support. Thank you. And what an adventure this has been. I'll tell you what. Yep. Um, we really appreciate the support, Jennifer. This whole thing is just, it's crazy how it's unfolding. Yep. Um, all right. It looks like, it looks like we're in relatively good shape. Um, if there's anything else, let me know. Um, we're going to do a, uh, <clears throat> we're going to ask for a, for questions again questions in all caps that really helps us um oh we got a really good question ken asked uh rv uh use values have changed so much that maybe they should change the value on insurance and that's that's uh i don't even know what that is what this yeah oh no i don't know what a femdoms is but everybody's <laughs> everybody's <laughs> welcome if you're friendly and kind have yeah. manners don't come in here with a bullhorn saying there's no God or nothing like that. I mean, just come in and be friendly. Have fun with us. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't okay. know what that is. So I'm All right, not going to. Let's do this one. It could be like something. I have no idea. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like we got some trolls and they're like not. Yeah. You know. Go away. Yeah. You be know, kind or leave or we'll dump you. Yeah. We'll dump you if you don't need to get out of control. It seems to me like, um, it seems to me, hey guys. Hey guys, Mark right here has been here for a few yeah, weeks helping us here. with the park. Yep. Mark is the bomb. He's a member. He came in. He's like, he's my right hand man now. I love them. We love their family. It's just the people good that people. were, yeah, they're good people. And, um, you know, we hope all of you can eventually get out to Thunder Canyon. We're going to be here for a while. We're going to start using this as home base and RVing out and stay here before we set out to look for another campground to develop. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it looks like we are in pretty good shape here. If you guys um, have any additional questions, please um, put them up. There was somebody that was kind of doing a lot of. They gone. Them. Yeah, okay, I had good, to block them. good. Um, so uh, it looks like everyone. Gosh, we're from so all over the place. It's pretty, pretty exciting. We'd love to meet you, Kelly. We love meeting everybody that supported us throughout the years. And you know the biggest support you can give us. Just pray for us. You know what I mean? Keep us in your thoughts because this has not been all fun and games. It's been a roller coaster, uh -huh. really low lows and, and high highs because it's a totally different type of lifestyle that we've jumped into. Uh -huh. Now it's just normal. This is just how we live our lives. But we really have picked up this vision of helping other people. We've become professional RVs. We really have. We're pretty good at this now. Uh -huh. It took us a while. Um, but now we have something to give away. And so we think what we have is a gift. And we want to give that gift away to as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. um, no worries, Fred. Uh, we're glad you made it. We yeah. actually met Fred at the um, Tampa RV show yeah, a couple man. years yep. back. Yep. You know? So um, looks like we got... I, I'm having a hard time. Uh, the classes start uh, right now, last uh, Saturday of the month. There will be replays. And uh, we're also, if you're getting the free newsletter, you'll be getting the downloads included. So mm -hmm. keep a note on and that. And just a heads up, you guys, our membership thing was working great. And they made some, to the, tech, the, 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 the people were paying to fix it. 
to add another level. There's going to be three levels. The four ninety, the thousand dollar level's gone, so for right now, because Thunder Canyon, we have all the families we need to get that off the ground. It's going, but we have three other levels. It's going to be four ninety seven, two ninety seven, and ninety nine dollars. Again, um, that's not. It's it's. It was supposed to be ready for today. It's not. If you go to rbodsquad.com backslash join, you're going to see a mess uh, because it didn't quite. They, they didn't make it in time. Um, but that will be fixed really soon, and we'll let we'll send an email out to everybody when it is fixed so that you can join us. Yep. Um, all right, and then uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, we we you know been at this a long time. I'm really sorry to hear about um, you know about uh, your better half passing. That mm. just that just puts it all into perspective. It really does. You know, you know and this is the type of. Um, we, we build these relationships with people. The hardest part of this is, is scaling the relationships because we have just thousands of people we love now and it's hard managing all that. But we get letters, we get gifts for Sage mm -hmm. every single week. Gifts will come in for Sage, gifts yeah. will come. People will send food and brownies. And I mean, the RV Odd Squad is the best, the best. And we'll be sitting here one day and we'll be having a rough day and then a, a letter will come in and it's somebody that we helped. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That um, we did a video on and helped them avoid a little bit of a problem. Like, you know, we had somebody lose their heating system in their RV and we had, I had done a video on a, a limit switch and a sales switch mm -hmm. warning people, you know, just to get by these now because they're weeks out. And we've had about seven people that avoided disaster. One sent, sent us a letter and it made us both cry. Because we know we're doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing, which is pretty cool. You know, I mean, I'm 57 years old, 56 years old, and I'm just starting to realize what I want to be when I grow up, which is weird. But I know exactly I'm doing it, what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and I'm with the right girl. I don't know why she picked me, but. I ask myself that. Too. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> <laughs> he just laid it out so like. I just, yeah, just watermelon. A, it was just such a good layout. I had to take it. Yeah. Um, so let's see. We have a lot of different questions. Um, this is pretty exciting. Thank you, people local. Trey. Yeah, yep. we're, this this is fun. This Sean is Connors from Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be back in Colorado soon, Sean. Hopefully I hope your this spring. Goes well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See, I mean, we've got people with the same problem, guys. You can't rely. This is the homework you have to do in the front end. Mm -hmm. Don't buy an RV on price buy it from the best dealership that has integrity, mm -hmm. that has the support departments to get you in and out. You buy a new RV, there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be problems. We would suggest that anybody that's buying a new RV hired an independent inspector uh, because, because there's the, the, RV, the RV space is on such fire right now that these companies are putting stuff in and they're not supposed to put in, they're missing things. And a lot of things are breaking. Mm -hmm. And then when they take your RV back, like Camping World is the worst, the worst, worst, worst. Can't stand that company. Um, they push them out the door for cheap, but good luck getting service. And don't buy a warranty. We canceled our warranty. with. We bought everything. Uh, we canceled our warranty after six months, and they gave us half our money back. Mm -hmm. You know, we found out that they had taken a four-year warranty and financed it over 20 years. It was ridiculous. It's just ugly stuff. Yeah. And this is a really good question from right Cindy. Here? No. This um, one? This one. Um, no, man. Yeah, I think that. It's never real too old unless you physically can't walk or yeah. bend over. Um, uh, we're going to have some tent sites here at Thunder Canyon. Um, it just, what you need to do is, again, going back to being honest with yourself and what your limits are. What can you do? Can you bend over to plug in, you know, a, a, a water tap? Can you bend over to. To, to get a sewer hose. It's just being honest with yourself. Um, the smaller the rig, the easier they are to manage. The bigger the rig, the harder they are to manage. Um, but again, it drives Mercedes crazy that we have a huge fifth wheel, but it's no t intimidation to me at all. Um, I I'm very comfortable driving my rig. I've become very relaxed at it and because I know I'm safe. I've done everything I can for safety for my family. I'm monitoring my tires. You know, I I I've got a gas stop. Um, which watches my propane, any leaks, the thing shuts it off. Gas stops are great. Those are in our store, guys. Mm -hmm. um, and so check those out. Yeah. And I think we're coming to the end. Well, yeah, we're um, getting asked about the pool at Thunder Canyon. We're getting asked about what do you do if you were promised a purchase price and then it's changed. That's happening a lot now because the prices of materials are going up so high. Yeah. And, and look at your contracts. If you're buying a rig right now, they will write in there that if the one, you know, maybe you order, it's coming in. I, we heard yesterday that it's six months wait for new rigs being ordered. But in the contract documents, if the price goes up, 
they're not locking your price in. You're going to pay the difference when you get it. So we had one RBI squad member that purchased the rig for $91,000, waited five months. The rig came to them, and all of a sudden it was $102,000, and they were stuck with it. They were stuck with it because they signed the contract, and it said that if price goes up, you will pay it. You're responsible. So mm -hmm. really take a close look. Uh, guys, one of the things I would suggest to anybody that's new is spend the money and hire Gigi. Um, hire Gigi. She'll walk you through it. She'll watch your back. She knows all the tricks. She's been in the business her whole life. She is really good at helping people walk through the process. We've had quite a few RV Out Squad members use Gigi in her personal service. We love her personal service. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it's always turned out really, really well. People like it. And it's not too much. It's not that much money. We're getting a lot of comments about the pool at Thunder Canyon. Here's the struggle that we have. Okay. So the pool needs some some deep, deep repairs. And I think because we're outsiders, we're getting like Yankee pricing. <laughs> no, it's true. Like, you know, we were. We got a price of $250,000. And so. it was just nuts. And yeah. so we, the problem, and it's also a blessing, is that we don't know who um, who is a good resource to do certain things. But um, it's kind of a blessing, too, because since we don't know anyone, we don't have problems with people. You know, so we don't. <laughs> Because in a small town, there's like all this, but we don't have enough history with anybody to really have a problem. Well, and everybody's busy. Yeah. Um, materials are short. It's been it's been a struggle getting everything. We just got our priorities set on Thunder Canyon. Our our job we got right now we'll we'll open with 52 sites. Those are open to members right now, and um, we've already started taking reservations. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we'll start rolling in new members. And at one point, if we can't support the campground with just a membership, and maybe we can't. It's up to God at this point. Then we'll open it up to the public, but that's going to be a different price, a higher price, because yeah. the price goes up for public because the insurance is through the roof. It can be as high as eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000, you guys. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and uh, we're also getting asked if uh, a lot of are on Rumble. Kind of, but it's not. No, we, we actually we're... are on Rumble. I set up a Rumble account. When... But we're not really actively. We're not actively on there. We posted our, I think I posted our videos. four or five of our top videos, and it's yeah. just not getting any views. It's just not getting a lot of play. So, unfortunately, YouTube is the only game in time. There's a game in town. Um, well, I do believe there's a lot of new technology coming that will give, you know, so there's not so much censorship on the internet. Guys, it drives me insane. Uh, a lot of you that watch me for a while, you know, and I can't hide those. I can't hide that stuff. You never have to guess what I'm thinking because I wear it on my sleeve. Yeah, sometimes. And, and my either. politics will show through or my frustration will show through. But again, I just attract more people that think like that, which are really close friends of mine. Yeah. So, um, looks like we're getting some, uh, we're wrapping up on the comments, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what that means. Tell me CME and or EMP. I know an EMP is like an attack. Isn't that an attack to blow out like small engines and I have no idea. What yeah. That I don't, I don't know what that is, Arthur. Yeah. So if you can give us a little more information. Yep. All right. Okay. So, so we'll have to check into that. Um, yeah, the pool is definitely seasonal. And you know, it's funny, but, uh, William or Billy Hart, Bill, yeah. William, I'll say William. Yeah. Um, what's funny about it is, is that one of the things we hear most from the people that grew up in this town is they love the campground pool. It's, it's, they all have memories. They're all my age, but they used to be down there in their teens and their twenties. This was a big deal here at Thunder Canyon. So we'll probably have a pass here for those people to come in in the summertime. And it's hot as hell here in the summer. Okay, John. I'm your filter. It's true. I'm like his muzzle. I'm like. Ah, it's ah, true, John. Ah. Yeah. I mean, I drive her crazy because I say things at the strength. I just, I, I'm going to tell you what I think. That's yeah. all. Sometimes I just rather not know. Okay. Electromagnetic. That's weapon. what I thought. Yeah. That type of a weapon. I yeah. I have that, no idea. Like, it's something that blows up above ground uh, um, and it takes out small little... engines, cars. It takes out. Yeah. We haven't got to that point. Yeah, well, that's a little. But we do have um, about a year's worth of food. We've got backup generators. I filled all the propane tanks here. I've got thirty six hundred gallons. Um, yeah. We've done what we've done. I've done what I think is best for my family as much as I can. Haven't looked into that radical of an attack. I think we're all screwed if that happens. But yeah, we are ready if something goes wrong. Yep, and uh, I think that I think that we're rounding the bit. So that's um, it. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, we really apologize for the problems we had early on. We are going to look into finding somebody that can make sure that never happens again. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. We can't do that, especially when we have a direct fiber net, uh, fiber optics connection. Yep. We should not be struggling like that. And mm -hmm. um, it was funny because it just, 
it's never happened until suddenly before we go live. And yeah. the person that's helping us with this was knew we were going live. So he was trying to fix it, but it like, obviously he couldn't. All right, Anyways, so God well, bless you guys. guys. Thank you for all the love and the support. Keep the prayers coming for us and Morel. Yep. We'll let you know, update you on Morel as soon as we can, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.